Bonjour, Stephanie here with Virtually French, and we're very excited and proud today uh, to take a moment to talk about the Every Child Matters Orange Shirt Truth and Reconciliation Day that's happening. I know it's it, there's a few different names that people are using, um, but we're so excited to take a moment for that, and we have a special guest, which is also really incredible and exciting, um, so I let him introduce himself. Quay, Nietzsche with Neil Wayne Wallace. Bonjour, je m'appelle Wayne Wallace uh, et le langage que je viens d'utiliser, c'est uh, la langue maternelle donc de ma communauté Première Nation, qui est le Wallistique, situé au Nouveau-Brunswick. Perfect, parfait. Um, alors, Wayne est ici pour nous parler de l'origine de la journée de... Um, de Every Child Matters, Orange Shirt, surtout. Um, alors, parce que... De, de la nature de la journée, on va aussi prendre le temps pour faire les land acknowledgements. Alors, Wayne va pouvoir faire ça. Merci, Stéphanie. Euh, oui, donc, je vais commencer par reconnaître euh, les terres des Premières Nations ancestrales, donc nous, on est tous situés. Moi, je vous rejoins d'ici, de la Colombie-Britannique, spécifiquement des terres de les Premières Nations Coast Salish et les communautés qui incluent Musqueam, Squamish et Tsleil-Waututh. Donc, euh, je suis présentement à West Vancouver. Euh, J'aimerais évidemment reconnaître les terres. Donc, vous êtes tous situés euh, à travers de, de la province Ontario ou à travers le Canada. Parfait, merci. Alors, je vais monter. On a des petites images. We have a few pictures to guide through the story. Alors, on a des petites images. Hey, merci. Donc, euh, à l'âge de 6 ans, Phyllis se préparait pour sa première journée d'école. Elle vivait avec sa grand-maman sur la réserve Dark Creek. Malgré qu'il n'avait pas beaucoup d'argent, sa grand-maman a réussi à lui acheter une nouvelle tenue pour sa rentrée à l'école. So Phyllis um, lived with her grandmother on the Dog Creek Reserve and prior to starting school, even though they didn't have a lot of money, her grandma ended up being able to buy her a new outfit for school. Donc, avec sa grand-maman, ils sont allés au magasin et Phyllis a choisi une belle chemise orange brillante lacée au devant avec une belle corde. So her and her grandma went to the store and Phyllis chose this beautiful orange blouse that was laced in front with these beautiful uh, cords. Phyllis était excitée d'avoir une belle chemise orange brillante, tout comme elle était excitée d'entrer à l'école. Phyllis was so excited to wear her new sweater on her first day of school. Mais quand elle est arrivée à l'école, on lui a enlevé ses vêtements, y compris sa belle chemise orange brillante. But when she started school, they took away her orange shirt and all of her clothes. En plus de lui enlever ses vêtements, on lui a coupé ses beaux cheveux et aussi on l'interdissait de parler sa langue de première nation. Phyllis était vraiment triste de tout cela. So aside from taking away her clothes, they also cut her hair and basically told her she was not allowed to speak her language. Phyllis was really sad about all of this. Depuis ce temps, la couleur orange a toujours rappelé Phyllis que ses sentiments n'avaient pas d'importance et que personne à l'école se souciait d'elle. Since that day, the color orange has always reminded Phyllis of how she felt back then and how she felt that nobody cared for her. Phyllis ne comprenait pas pourquoi on lui avait pas remis sa chemise orange, puisque c'était à elle. Elle n'a jamais, jamais revu ses vêtements. Phyllis didn't understand why she was never given her clothes back. And from that day, she never saw that orange shirt. Devenue adulte, Phyllis a décidé d'écrire deux livres pour partager son expérience dans cette école. Donc, le premier pour les adultes, qui s'appelle Orange Shirt Story, et le deuxième pour les plus petits enfants comme vous, Phyllis's Orange Shirt. 
So when Phyllis became an adult, she decided to share her story and the experience she had in that school. So she wrote two books, one for adults, which is called Orange Shirt Story, and the second, which is more for you guys, which is called Phyllis's Orange Shirt. So if you are interested to learn more about this story, I would encourage you to get these books. Awesome. And there's a picture of Orange Shirt Day, and I believe that's Phyllis in it as well, right? That's right. So Phyllis is in the middle um, in the white uh, vest. Um, and she's also the executive director of the Orange Shirt Society. So may, maybe more for the parents, but essentially the difference between Orange Shirt and the Truth and Reconciliation Day is the Orange Shirt was started by the grassroots First Nation people, specifically Phyllis, to mm -hmm. share about the, her story and to acknowledge what happened uh, in those schools. Uh, and then the Truth and Reconciliation Day, which we're celebrating, um, was created by the federal government just this past year, which was a, an action uh, from the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, so Action 80. Perfect. Merci. Thank you for sharing all of that with us. Bienvenue. Uh, or as you would say in uh, holistic way, Wooly Win. Perfect. Merci. Um, alors, merci beaucoup, Wayne, d'être venu nous raconter l'histoire et d'avoir expliqué les racines et l'inspiration pour cette journée importante. We really appreciate you coming to tell us about how these days came to happen and how important they are. So thank you very much for coming. My pleasure. Uh, Willy Win, as we would say in holistic way, which means thank you uh, for you as well for inviting me. Uh, merci de m'avoir invité pour partager cette histoire. Merci. Au revoir, les amis. Au revoir.